Greetings. In this segment, I'm going to talk about the idea of a 70-30 stance, or what's known as a bow stance in Tai Chi. Now, if you're taking any Tai Chi classes, your instructor, especially if you're learning Yang style, but really most all styles, have the 70-30 stance in them. Some of them have a 60-40 stance, but for the most part, we have the bow stance, 70-30 stance. And it varies a little bit uh, from style to style, school to school, but the idea, the basic idea is that I have my back foot back here. Not only do I have 70% of my weight here, because this would no longer be a 70-30 stance, right? Because if you think about the Bai Hui, which is the point, of, the acupuncture point on top of the head, and the Hui Yin, which is the acupuncture point uh, between your genitals, so those two are in alignment, in a vertical alignment. So if I'm back here like this, I still have 70% of my weight. This is 70% more engaged than this back leg if I think about the muscles involved. But my center of gravity is pointing right to here. It's halfway between my feet. So my weight is on my back hip at this point. This is a, the most common error that I see, is that people will be here in the, and to try and be vertical, they'll put the weight on the back hip. But really what we want to do is have the weight on the front hip. So now, without moving the knee forward. So when I come here, and this is easier said than done, So, but you have to drop this hip to bring the weight into this hip. Now my center of gravity is here. It's 70% forward, okay? So the first idea is this forward and back idea. And you have to play with this, talk to your instructor on this idea of how do you get 70% of the weight forward without pushing your knee forward because all, I don't, I know very few Tai Chi teachers that will tell you to push your knee beyond your toes. In our school, we try never to push it beyond the uh, base of the front foot, the base of the front toe. So you should be able to look down and so I can see from this point forward if I look down. And if you notice, if by doing that, I have this at a 90 degree angle. If I go here, I'm putting pressure on my knee, and I'm also losing some stability. Other people teach it differently, and I'm, that's okay. I'm just showing you the way that, we, that I teach it and that I've been taught. So when we come forward, we have to drop that front hip and put our weight here. Put our weight into the front hip so that our back is still has a flat feeling to it. The back foot is being driven into the ground. We kind of do this a little bit feeling to it push the knee back a little bit to give stability without locking it. That's why it's called a bow stand. There's five different bows that occur. But this is the idea of 70-30 forward. Okay, so this is the base, this is a very basic idea of 70-30. However, what's not taught often, or I have not seen it taught often, doesn't mean it's not practiced and that people don't understand it, but I want to bring it to your attention. If you think of a post in the ground, if you set a post in the ground and you only set it so that it doesn't move this way, forward and back, it's still going to be unstable this way, right? You can't just have a post stable in one direction because then it's not considered stable. It has to be stable in forward, back, and left to right, and ultimately also to the corner, stable in eight directions. So when we come here in our 70-30 stance, and you could try this with me. Get into your bow stance, the one that you have. Try not to have your weight on your back hip. That's really important, because otherwise you're not in a 70-30 stance, in my opinion. Okay, so really work on getting that without pushing your knee forward. Now, I'm going to move my center of gravity so I'm even this way. So even though I have 70% on the front leg this way, when it comes to this way, I'm even weighted. So now I'm considered double weighted, so my center of gravity is right in the center. It's forward more, but it's center this way. That's not a stable pose. Try that and notice the way that feels. Now, still in your 70-30 forward, take your center of gravity and do it very slowly and move it to the front, toward the side of the front leg, just a little bit. So now you have 70% this way. 70% this way and you'll feel so much more stable. So again, come back to the center so you have even this way, you'll notice the way you feel. Now to make matters even worse, bring your weight onto your back hip and you'll notice you're right in the middle. Right, you're right in the middle. This is not a stable place to be. So we want to come forward onto our front hip, 
forward onto our front hip and then move over to the side a little bit and that's your stable place that you want to be. So really work on this. It's a very subtle thing. You can see when I do this, it's not a big movement. So if I'm 50-50 this direction, and I do that by feeling, I feel it, the weight on both feet, that's how I know where I am. So now when I move over till 70-30, look at how much I move. It was not a lot. So you have to really notice the feeling. And it's the same thing when you get into your, fo your forward stance, right? So I look down, make sure I could see my toes. Now I'm on my back hip. So I'm right in the center this way. So I have to come forward a little bit. Now I am in the front leg. Okay, I'm, a, I'm a, more in the front hip. My weight's on my front hip. That'll work your leg muscles more too. Tai Chi's supposed to work your leg muscles. So this is the idea of really finding a true 70-30 stance that's balanced so that your post not only doesn't get moved this way, because it's easy to defend from this direction when you're in a 70-30 stance. It'll just go, you're in a good stance, it's going to go right down through your back foot. This can be very relaxed, you can move. But how about if the energy comes from the side a little bit? If you're in the center, you're going to fall over this way. But if you're in truly 70-30, you can move from here. You can make that transition now to here, right? You can make that transition. It's subtle, but it's important, especially when it comes to push hands, to be able to find that stable place, not just uni, not just one direction. It has to come from the other direction as well. Okay? Enjoy your practice.